person next to you. <laughs> and say, let's, let's stay, stay together. together. Mm, you can be seated. Right. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Well, the first time. Yeah. 
But see, too many of us are running out of our blessings because we don't like the pressure. And here it is. A marriage is not about you and how you feel. It's about your mate. It's about how your mate feels. That's what it's about. Because if both of us are thinking for the other one, then we meet in the middle and we don't have a problem. Amen. You can't, you can't make a woman become something and she's not your mother. Jesus. Come on. I would hope you wouldn't want her to be your mother. And you cannot make a man be everything that you've ever had. Some of us don't know how to have men in our lives because you've never had a father. But you got more women that will tell you a good man, a good man, and you ain't never had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here it is. Brothers, I don't know where, see, now I'm going somewhere with this, but I don't know where we get off. I ain't going to put myself in that. Where y'all get off? <laughs> Wanting to be chased. I ain't going to chase no woman. Something wrong with you. <laughs> because that's what you're supposed to do. That's why the word of God says, when a man findeth the wife, he findeth the good thing. Yeah. Not when he findeth the girlfriend. Yeah. In other words, you got to already be a wife. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have a wife mentality. If you got a wife mentality, you know you can't just lay up with everybody. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm going in this all of this direction for a reason. Simply because our our divorce rates are through the roof. And it's not because the two people can't get along. Possibly because the two people probably never had no business being together in the first place. Yeah. Because you got a bunch of people like preachers that don't want to tell a couple no. Yeah. It's, it's holy matrimony. Yes. So therefore, it has to be done in a, in a holy way. Yes. You can't get married and take God out of the equation yeah, and you yeah. don't bless it. Yeah. Yeah. And here it is. You can't live like you married and thank God going to bless your marriage once you get it together. Yeah. All right. All right. Because what you're doing now is you're setting the foundation for what your marriage is going to stand up on. Yeah. Oh, God. Come on. Will he sacrifice for you now while you ain't married? Mm. In other words, will he sacrifice getting a little bit mm. until you get married? Yeah. Will he sacrifice yeah. being in his own house yeah. until you get married? Uh -huh. So if you won't sacrifice those things now, when you get married, where the sacrifice coming from? Hello. And, I, and if whoever thinks they're going to prove me wrong, I hope you do. <laughs> you be the first. Based on what the scripture says about it. Not based off of what David Robinson said about it. I need you to understand something. Somebody mad right now, I really don't care. When it comes to marriage, marriage is a holy union. We don't do it just because. Amen. Too many people in the church get married because they, they hear messages like this. We already living in sin, so we might as well get married. That is not a reason to get married. <laughs> because that's a commitment. Marriage is a commitment. You're saying, I am leaving my mother and my father, and I am cleaving to my mate. That means I am covering everything that she does. Wow, wow. Oh, my God. Everything that she does, regardless of how jacked up it is, I'm right here. Whatever she say, I'm right here. Wherever she go, I'm right here. I'm doing this just like this. I don't care what you see. I, this mine. That's right. That's right. If you mess with her, you mess with me. Why? Because we are one. Yeah. Am I bothering somebody today? Yeah. yeah. Somebody nodded. Well, thank God. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ain't nobody talking to me about your business. I don't know your living situation. 
But I know somebody who does. Yes. And you yeah. were helping. Yeah. It may be harsh, but, but I want you to be blessed in everything that you do. And the reason why I'm on this is simply because today, when it comes to marriage, when we don't know how to have relationship with people, we can't know how to have relationship with God. That's right. Yeah. That's good. God gives us people in order to learn how to have a relationship with him. So we can't mistreat people and think we can treat God right because he says, the least you do unto these my little ones, you also done unto me. So he gives us people in order to learn how we are supposed to love him. In order to learn how we're supposed to be in relationship with him. Not religion, but relationship. Relationship, your relationship with God ain't got nothing to do with mine. I might talk to him 15, 16 hours a day. You might talk to him two hours a day, but that don't make it no, no better than mine. Mine don't make mine no better than yours. But what happens is, is the more you fall in love with him, you find it hard not to be around Careful what you sing. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I ever done. And I ain't talked to him all week. Don't want that kind of love. Mm. Wow. Don't need that kind of love. <laughs> when you say you love somebody, I can't live without you. I can't be without you. I can't make it without you. Where are you? You're not beside me. I can't feel you. I ain't heard from you. Where you at? Mm. Now, I knew you'd come around one day. Mm. Marriage is about a connection. It's about a relationship. It's about forsaking, what did the Bible say? Forsaking all others. Yeah. Ah. It said in sickness mm. and in health uh -huh. mm -hmm. till death do us part. In other words, till somebody die, one of us got to die in order for us to be able to move on. I'm so committed to you for the rest of my life. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do, how you do it, when you do it. I'm here. That's why we can't argue anymore without being afraid. Amen. Yeah. Because you don't know if that person going to want to up and leave you or not. Oh. Oh. That ain't a safe place to be if you call yourself married. Right. If we marry, I ought to be able to tell you just how I feel. Yeah. And you ought to be able to distinguish what he and his feelings. Oh, God. Or he really meant that. Yeah. My wife knows just what to ignore. Yeah. Amen. She knows just what to ignore. If I'm just lying off the cuff about something and this, this, this. And she, okay, okay. Do you hear what I said? Yeah, I got you. Next week, I done changed my mind. Do you remember what I said last week? No. <laughs> Good, I don't either. But I got to be able to be who I am with the person that I have committed my life to. I cannot go to my wife talking like, like my name is Curtis. She don't know Curtis. I can't write Curtis's love letter down on a piece of paper to my wife and say, she going to read that and say, this ain't you. Why do, why do you make that analogy? I make that analogy simply because you can't go to God in your so-called personal real relationship with a prayer that your mama prayed. Right. Yes. You can't do it. Your relationship with God is your relationship with God. Now, here we go. I'm going to bring it on home because I, I, some of y'all probably ain't going to come back no more. <laughs> Don't call me either. But you talking about me, God, if you with the shoe fit wear. Yeah. I wasn't talking to you. Maybe the Lord was trying to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 now. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Why? Right? Right? But now we say. Who giveth this bride away? But it started off. God gave his son.